I went to an estate sale yesterday where I scored a whole lot of real nice items. Must have been someone who liked electronics from the 60s and 70s. I got some reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders, um, a lot of old vintage calculators, Super 8 movie cameras, uh, and this thing for a dollar, which I'm going to need some help from people on YouTube about. This is a Dictaphone brand Travel Master with power cord, microphone, and then there's a little Dictaphone marking pen. So I'm going to take a look at this, but I have to warn you that I don't get it to work right. Here's the main unit. It has on the left over here an input jack for the microphone. Two different volume controls, one for looks like playback and one for recording. So apparently this is not an automatic level control. And that is a VU meter, a volume meter. And it has two things here that can go up or it can go down. This can push in, I found, under certain circumstances. This little lever here opens it up where you find the recording medium, a dicta belt. And dicta belts, my research, were interesting because you could tell visually where something was recorded. And as you can see, this dicta belt does look different on both sides. So there is a recording on here, it looks like. Um, visible record. And it has instructions for charging. So this had NICAD batteries in it, it looks like. I was pretty sure they would be discharged. The power cord. plugs in back here. There's nothing on this side. And on the bottom, the Travel Master, and here's a service record. So it shows it looks like it was last serviced on June 7, 1973, and they quit guaranteeing the batteries. I did plug it in with the charger overnight and uh, I noticed the pilot light there on the charger never did come on but while as the moment I plugged it in fiddling with the volume control I was able to get some noise out of it so I don't know if that means it works with the power cord plugged in bypassing the batteries or not. I'll set it up here and we'll look at it. And it has a little place for the little papers, which it came with a stack of, to mark them, as most dictaphones have. It also comes with this little dictaphone marking pen. So I've plugged in the microphone, but I don't have it plugged in on power right now. But this is the type of noise it makes. And it's not plugged in, that's on batteries. So somehow it is getting, those batteries still have some sort of charge in it. No matter what I do, putting it in that position, listen, talk, does take that away. Then I can move the talk volume up. Using the microphone, the microphone isn't marked, it has my thumb feels like that's down, so is that recording? I'm not sure. Is that playback? Then there's nothing. Then there's also an in like that, like that would be fast forward. But I don't know since I have no instructions. But as you can see when it's in talk it makes the same noise. Now watch the VU meter here and you'll see that it does work testing the Dictaphone Travel Master. So no matter what I do, I do get that noise. I can't find a speaker on here. I'm not exactly sure where that sound is coming from. It's certainly not coming from this microphone. But if anybody has any suggestions on a manual or the right combination of buttons to make it playback, 
would appreciate it. So that's the little I know about the Dictaphone Travel Master. Thanks. Bye.